Hi guys, this is going to be a video about the Skyrim Script Extender, or SKSE as it is known. And this video is aimed at people who are fairly new to modding. So if you've installed a few mods and you've come across a mod that you really like, would like to try, but it requires SKSE, and you're not sure what that is, or you're a little nervous about installing it, this video is for you. So what is SKSE? Well, it's basically a modders resource that expands the scripting capabilities of the game and essentially lets mod authors create mods that can do things that would otherwise be impossible. You have to understand that the creation kit does not give you absolute power to create whatever mod you like. There are a lot of limitations and SKSE attempts to get past those limitations. And we're talking about fairly basic things like detecting key presses the player makes or sending information to the user interface. If you look at some of the mods made for Oblivion, like the minimap or for New Vegas and Fallout, anything that, that detected a key press, anything that added new elements to the user interface and then manipulated them in-game, updated them from in-game, they all required a script extender and Skyrim is not going to be any different. Now it's perfectly reasonable to be somewhat nervous or reluctant to run your game via a third party piece of software that was not shipped by the developer. I completely understand that and in fact I actually encourage that type of attitude. You should always find out what it is you are running. So feel free to ask around Google, etc. And if you just check out the sheer volume of mods that use them, you'll see that really these things are pretty well accepted. They're seen as normal in the general modding community now. So how does it affect performance? Well, it really doesn't affect performance at all by itself. Obviously, SKSE mods themselves affect performance just like any mod does but they won't affect the performance any more than normal mods. Um, in fact, several things in SKSE may well actually make, make it possible to make mods perform better. Um, there are also cases where we've had several mods that have been released that actually improve game performance. That's the entire point of the mod. So let's get started by installing this. Now, you can find it on skse.silverlock.org and it is, it's a fairly basic site, there's nothing much to it, and you simply need to download the, the single file. Currently at the time of this video it is 1.4.10, but obviously when you watch this video it might have been updated. Download the latest version. And once it has uh, downloaded, I suggest extracting to all the files to a folder. So I've just extracted it to my desktop. I'm going to delete the archive. And I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this archive. And inside I find another folder. I'll leave that open. Now I'm going to open up my Skyrim game folder. Now, if you don't know where this is, it's probably, it'll be under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. You'll know if you're in the right place because you will find a file called tesv.exe. You'll also find the Skyrim Launcher.exe. This is where you need to be. And to install SKSE, you simply go along to the folder you just extracted and select all of the files, not the folder, that's the source folder. It won't matter if you copy this across, but you don't need it. You just need these six files. They all begin with SKSE and move or copy them to your Skyrim game folder. And that's it. The mod is now installed. And that's all there is to the installation, but we still have a tiny bit more work to do um, because we want to be able to run the game with SKSE. So let me close this. Now, if you're using the Nexus Mod Manager, it's, uh, it's fairly easy if you are used to using Launch Skyrim. Instead of Launch Skyrim, you can just launch SKSE. However, if you are used to using the 
standard Skyrim launcher from here to play you need to stop doing that you can use this to manage your options or your data files if you're using the Steam Workshop uh, but you're going to have to run the game from somewhere else what you're actually going to have to do is load the game via the SKSE loader so you could double click this and it will start the game however I actually recommend creating a shortcut for this I like to create a shortcut for it and then I drag the shortcut to my desktop uh, let me close this I'm then going to rename this to be SKSE and just so that it looks right I'm going to edit the properties go along to change icon and I'm going to pick I'm going as you can see here it opens automatically to my games steam steam games folder because I do this quite a lot but you'll find a lot of the game icons you've got in this folder so for example I've got the Skyrim fold uh, Skyrim icon um, again for you it will be under steam steam games and you'll find a whole heap of icons hopefully the sky the skyrim icon will be there open and then okay then i click apply and okay and you'll notice now below my normal elder scrolls icon i've got another one say an skse and from now on that is how i will actually run the game and it bypasses the loader completely so as long as you've got your mods updated from the Steam Workshop or if you're using Nexus Mod Manager it actually makes it faster to start the game because all you do now is double click and it starts Skyrim instantly which is actually rather nice now once you're actually in game you can bring up the console and type get SKSE version and hit enter and it will tell you the version of SKSE you are using if you don't get that message you're you're doing something wrong you didn't install it or you didn't run it correctly but there you go I am now running the game with SKSE and so what happens if you need to uninstall it for some reason let's say you don't like it um, and you want to uninstall it or and this does happen the game gets updated and the current version of SKC doesn't work for the new patch. Uh, this happens every time there's a patch and normally SKSE will take a couple of hours and the team will get it updated and out but you'll have a couple of hours where you'll have to turn off SKSE and none of your SKSE mods will work so you should be aware of that. Um, however when that happens it tends to reinforce the idea of how much you need SKSE because you can't live without the SKSE mods so I actually think it's a, it's a sign that SKSE is so essential but to uninstall it go back to the Skyrim game folder where you installed it go along to where you'll see SKSE log probably and it'll go all the way down to SKSE what's new dot text but it's all of the files that start with SKSE select them hit delete hit yes and the SKSE is gone it's that easy and it will leave nothing behind it's as if it was never there and that's it for this video I hope it helped if you still have questions or worries feel free to uh, drop a comment on my channel or ask in the Nexus site or the Steam site. I'm sure someone will be able to help you. Have fun.